Saab initiated the development of the Saab 105 in 1959. The Saab 105 was intended to be suitable both for civil and military purposes. In a civil capacity Saab intended it as a 4-5 to five seat business jet which was intended to be used by corporate customers. At the time, the 105 was one of the only small European aircraft to be equipped with turbofan, which was reported as of interest to prospective business customers. When no such customer showed any interest, Saab chose to focus only on the military capabilities. In December 1961, the Swedish Air Force gave Saab the green light to develop a twin-engines trainer aircraft. The Air Force also wanted the aircraft to have ground attack capabilities. The two first prototypes were developed in 1962, and on June 29, 1963, the first prototype conducted its maiden flight. The second prototype made its maiden flight in June 1964. After the initial test flights, some modifications were made before the Air Force approved the aircraft. The Saab 105 was developed to be small and inexpensive. It soon proved to have excellent handling qualities, and capable of performing aerobatic maneuvers. In March 1965, the Swedish Air Force placed an order of 130 Saab 105. Later this order was updated to 150 aircraft. The Saab was designated the SK-60 in the Swedish Air Force, and the first serially produced aircraft were delivered in April 1966. The Saab 105 was originally equipped with Turbomeca Abisk turbofan engines, which at first proved to have a number of problems. After some engine modifications the SK-60 proved to be a capable aircraft, that met the high demands of the Swedish Air Force. Several different variants were produced. The SK-60A was a four-seat training and liaison version, the SK-60B was a two-seat light attack version and the SK-60C had a dual role as attack and reconnaissance aircraft. The SK-60D was a four-seat transport, that could replace two ejector seats with regular flight seats. Three SK-60E were also produced, these were equipped for the training of reservists, and had civilian navigational equipment. The first Swedish Air Force flight students started training on the Saab 105 in July 1967. On April 29, 1967, the Saab 105XT was tested for the first time. It had two more powerful General Electric CJ610-4 engines, and made the Saab 105 better suited for light attack duties. The Saab 105 can be armed with a combination of 135mm, 127mm and 75mm unguided rockets, air-to-ground missiles and bombs, including napalm bombs. Gun pods with a pair of 30mm cannons AUK 7.62mm guns can be installed. AIM-9 Sidewider air-to-air missiles can also be used in addition to the cannons. In July 1968, the Austrian Air Force ordered 20 Saab 105s. This was later increased to 40 aircraft. They were delivered between 1970 and 1972. The Austrian Air Force started training their flight students on the Saab in July 1970. In the 1990s, when the Turbomega engines reached the end of their lifespan, they were replaced by Williams International FJ-44 engines. The modified versions were designated the SK-60W. In 2020, the Saab 105 remain in service in the Swedish Air Force and the Austrian Air Force, 